You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. I am the Italian Stallion. Yes, you are. I am. <laughs> in Texas. In Texas, in San Antonio. And Alex, uh, we're going to... We're, we're back with... We're back with Tequila 21. Again, if you are not 21 years of age or older, do not watch this video. Turn it off. Okay? Don't tell your mom... Don't tell your dad. Kind of looks like the Prince symbol. Yeah, kind of, huh? May he rest in peace. What a bummer. We're losing, we're losing, we're losing some big names. Mega. Mega, mega stars. Um, we okay. Talk, we talked about the, the packaging for this tequila, Alex. Yeah. You can either sip or... Or guzzle, well, or you can whoop. guzzle. One thing you will get is you'll get leakage. You will get seepage and leakage. I got leakage and seepage and yeah. seepage and leakage. Me too. All that's over right. my desk, I got leakage. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Wow. We don't know anything about this tequila, by the way. The only thing that we do know is from what our, our friend Matt Metris, Bubbles. who supplied us with a video review of Tequila 21. We didn't even know it existed. Until he uh, he hit us up and says, "Hey, I, I got a tequila I want to do a review on. Are you interested?" We said, "Sure." So he sent us the review. You can catch it on our Facebook page. You can watch it on our website. And and then we said, "Well, hey, can we get some tequila? You know, because I think you're a rep or something." Sure. Like. He said, "Sure." So he sent us this tequila. It comes in shakers, ladies and gentlemen. We nominated the Blanco for Brand of Promise. Aluminum. In, in, it's aluminum. It, well, it's it's it says food grade stainless steel. So we're gonna we're gonna go there. Okay, we're gonna say this is food grade stainless steel, very similar to what tequilas are 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 sitting in in any in any distillery. You know, fresh out of the the, uh, the uh, fresh out of the still, right? And. We discovered that when they sent it to us, that it came from our, one of our favorite distilleries, known 1414, which is 1414. Feliciano Vivanco and Asociados. Yes. There it is, known 1414. See, there you go. Mira. Mira. Very clever packaging, I have to say. Very clever, very, very bartender friendly, obviously. But, it, but like Alex said in the previous episode it's like it, you just want to take it and drink it you just want to use it as a canteen or something it's a dangerous container yeah it's it's you gotta hide it from yourself so look at the color on this thing isn't it beautiful yeah the color is beautiful it's a it's a light straw color now we don't know how long they've been this has been rested the website doesn't tell us anything beautiful picture it's a mystery yeah the twitter account doesn't exist but they do have a facebook page um, maybe maybe the, the mm. folks at Feliciano Vivanco can tell us more about it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, the that wood notes. Good. The wood notes are beautiful. Oh, That my. is good. <laughs> <laughs> now the Blanco, Have you had this already? I, I, yeah, I've had this one too, but it's been, you know, months since I've had it. This is really good, Mike. I love that color. I, yeah, I, it's, it's, I don't even know what it's aged in. Tell us more. It's a beautiful color. It's like a soft amber, light gold. It's like a light gold, yeah. It's very pretty. It's, it's just, you know, nice legs and tears. It's a Michelle Pfeiffer gold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll go there. Mmm. <clears throat> so good. Mm. It's smooth, coats the palate. Oh, the wood notes. Yeah, beautiful vanilla beautiful. notes. Yeah. Now, in the Blanco version, I wow. mentioned that in the Blanco, um, there was uh, some brininess that we were yeah. getting that was very similar to um, Aguila Real. But this is like Aguila Real light, because um, that one was very, very briny forward, agave forward, very peppery, very hot. 
This one, this one, the Blanco is toned down. But Alex, I'm not getting any brininess coming through no, at all. No, not at all. Because even with Aguilar Real, that was the neat thing about it with the, <clears throat> the Reposado, um, had some brininess to it that you don't normally get in a Repo. Mm. I'm really enjoying this Repo Solo. See, I should have had it out of a Glen Cairn. I didn't do that. I, I'm, I'm using the, uh, the Riedel. And, but even with the Riedel, it's just the, the, the wood notes are beautiful. <clears throat> so good. Mm. Mm. Again, you got vanilla notes. Mm. And it really it really coats your palate too. Um what would you say, Alex? You know, this repo is this repo is almost like an like an añejo almost. What's that? Would you say this is age like you know like Yeah, that's what I was, I was gonna say. It's it's like an añejo. Yeah, it, it's more yeah. like six to eight months or something like they were really pushing pushing the the envelope you know uh we don't know how how long it's been aged so we're only guessing there's no information on the on the facebook page no information on the website we do have a review that you can see and you can watch on our facebook page or on our on our website by matt metris uh who did a a review of uh tequila 21 he is uh involved with a place mm. called about the worm I think I think is what he called it. Um, what about the worm? In fact, let me give you some information on that. What about the worm? Um, what about the worm? Tequila tasting what about class, it? tequila tasting classes and more. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, Rochester, New York. So it's upstate New York. I guess you would consider Rochester upstate, but. Um, this is where this place is. This is where Matt is located. So if you guys are in Nueva York, upstate New York, who knew that this was this gem? And I and I hiding up there. Yeah, I'd venture to say that the the Reposado is really the, the star of this show because oh, Alex yeah. is in love with this Repo man. It is, and you know, and here so it is good. right now, Alex. Because I, I'm getting like like. Um, Pears, I'm getting like apples and pears. I'm getting like fruit, you know, like a like an apple or a pear. Nice. The last time I, I I tasted any of that or smelled any of it was was in old style Chinaco. Ooh. So, remember that? Wow, that was that was when Hermano Gonzalez was still uh, was still making it. Ooh, I did get just get the pear. Did you get the pear? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're gonna get fruit. This is this is a really pear. beautiful yes. nose. Wow, you hit that square up. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is nice. You know, don't, 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 don't mix it. This is, this is done. This is the super. <laughs> this is the no, super it's, of it's the good, two. Just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yourself a Glen Cairn. Get yourself a really nice glass and just enjoy the nose. It's just, but the flavor go it, it really delivers. I think uh, of the two <clears throat> versions, the Blanco and Reposado, <clears throat> the Repo is really much more balanced. It's really good. Definitely a brand of promise, Mike. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Wow. Tequila nice. 21. Matt Metris, nice going, man. Thanks for uh, bringing this up to our attention. Because we can't be everywhere, but you are. You guys are. So if you see a tequila that we haven't touched before and you know something about it and you know how we let can get it. Let us know. Let us know. We will we will give you props. <laughs> Very cool. Well I love definitely it. brand brand and promise nominee. Yes. And and I and like I say, the packaging is very unique, so we, we have to nominate the packaging. Brand and promise. Yeah. Awesome. I wish they you know, tell us more about it. Find you know, if you if anybody out there knows how long it's been aged where it's been aged, you know, what kind of barrels. Maybe the folks at, at Feliciano Vivanco and Asociados, when they see this, they can tell us because we have no clue. We have yeah. no idea. And if you like this style, remember the gnome. Yeah. It's after the, the, what you find in that gnome, 1414. 14, awesome 14, stuff 14. out of that distillery. Yeah, yeah it did. 
almost all the brands that come out of 1414 are winners. It, it's got a reputation like like, like La Cofradia. Stellar, stellar products. Yeah, yeah there. there's really not a bad not not a bad brand coming out of there. So um, go get it, go find so, it, and then while you're looking at it check our red button if you're one of those people that likes to subscribe and you're happy to subscribe click the button you'll be happy for years we'll be in your inbox all the time <laughs> i'm mike morales here in san antonio i'm alex perez you're watching sipping off the cuff on tequila aficionado.com thanks for watching and as always sip wisely